We're here today to talk about plantar fasciitis. One of the most common things we see, you've probably heard things like heel pain or heel spurs or anything related to the foot and the heel in sore heels is pretty much what we deal with and it's often diagnosed as plantar fasciitis. Um, what we're talking about in terms of plantar fasciitis is the foot being this. When we look at the underside, the heel bone uh, has a ridge on the underside. Plantar fascia starts from that part of the heel, comes out to all the toes, acts like an elastic band more or less. Uh, and what we're dealing with generally when, when we go pretty much all the time when we get pain in it is a change in rotation. So generally on the inside, we see an increase in movement inwards, which means that force as it comes through the foot shifts on the inside, which means we overload this part. You can also get, get issues when we have a very high foot type and we see, see that sort of position occurring as well. That changes low pattern through and changes how that plantar fascia works as well. A little bit more complex, but um, same sort of issues. So the way we treat plantar fasciitis is we're looking at uh, root cause issues. And so if we're looking at, at it being an issue in terms of how load is applied either side of the foot, we need to adjust for that. So we need to take away those strains so they're not in those bad areas anymore, take pressure off, allow it to heal. And so what we do is shoe wear number one, have a look at my video from before about shoe wear, some basic tips, but basically firm heel counter in the shoe, lace up, remove the linen sole. That way we can work with that shoe. It's a good base that we can actually work with. From there, we look at putting a rigid splint, which is pretty much a, a, like an insert or an orthotic into your shoe. And the idea is that's gonna allow us to control, design something that's gonna control your foot to really get the best out of it, take away those bad forces, allow it to work as efficient, efficiently as it can. Um, what we also like to do is, is we're looking at shockwave therapy a lot these days. There's a video on that also you can have a look at, but it's a really effective way to really stimulate that healing process, reduce pain, get you moving again. So as a combination treatment, that's been a really good way to go. Um, it requires you to commit to it and you've got to, you've got to be able to, to be consistent, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a way to treat it.